Hi, welcome to I Flip for Math, MathCast Lesson 1-2. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and I thought you might want to meet my daughter, Brayden. She's been watching some of these math casts being made, and she really wants to do a cartwheel for you. So I'm going to kind of move out of the way and let you see if you can see her do her cartwheel. Okay, there's your legs. Yeah. That was good. Thanks, Bray. Yeah. Do another one. Do another one right there. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Okay, that was good. Okay. Again, this is lesson 1-2. Learning goal is to compare and order whole numbers and make, remember that you have to write the title and the learning goal in your journal. You don't have to write the quote, which is anyone who has ever made a mistake has never tried anything new. Albert Einstein said that and it is so true in math. And if Albert Einstein wasn't afraid to make mistakes to learn how to um, do math, then neither should we be afraid to make mistakes. Let's go ahead and begin our lesson. Our learning goals for this individual lesson are to know the difference between the term compare and the term order, line up our numbers vertically to compare them by place value position, compare whole numbers beginning at the left end of the numbers which is where the greatest place value position is, use the symbols less than, equal to, and greater than to compare numbers, and write numbers in order from greatest to least and least to greatest. Here is our vocabulary for tonight. Remember that you're going to need to pause after I post a term up here so that you have time to write it down exactly as I wrote it. Our first vocabulary term is compare. You should underline that. Compare two numbers and use a greater than or less than symbol to show the comparison. To order is when we compare three or more numbers and list them in order, either from greatest to least or from least to greatest. We actually don't use the symbols when we're ordering numbers, only when we're comparing two numbers. Here are our comparing strategies. When we're comparing whole numbers, line up the numbers by their place value positions. You always line them up by the ones place and then just continue to write the number out until you're finished writing it. Compare the digits from the left side of the whole number until you come upon a different digit. As soon as you have a different digit, you compare those two digits and whichever one is bigger or greater is going to be a part of the greatest number. Use the symbol less than for less than. Think the alligator eats the bigger number. When we make the shape of an alligator's mouth, like that less than symbol, the alligator's mouth is going to be open towards the bigger number because it wants to eat the bigger number. Use that symbol, the greater than symbol, for greater than. Again, think the alligator eats the bigger number. Use the equal sign for equal to. There's no alligator here. Both the numbers are the same. Read the numbers you are comparing from left to right. That means if you have a symbol in between the two numbers, you should be able to start reading the number on the left, read the symbol, and then read the number on the right, and it should be true. Here are some examples of what I'm talking about. If we compare the numbers, 417,374 and the number 416,000, we're going to use the following strategies. Let's pull out our journals and write down some practice problems. Okay, let's show our strategies for comparing those two numbers. The number four, oops, there we go. The number 417,300. 74, and I'm going to line them up vertically by their place value positions. So the next number is 416,000. See how my commas should be lined up right on top of each other? And then 0, 0, 0. So the numbers in the ones place are on top of each other. The tens place, the hundreds place, our thousands comma, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. Now we can compare them. 
We're going to look at the digits in the greatest place value position first, which, is, which are the numbers to the left. So first we compare the fours. They're the same. So we go to the next digit. The ones, they're the same. So we go to the next digit. There, we're comparing seven and six. They're different. So if the seven is greater, that means this entire number is greater than this number. So now we're going to write it out in a sentence. It's a math sentence. 417,374 is greater than 416,000. Now look at my greater than symbol right here. See how it looks like an alligator's mouth? But the alligator has his mouth open towards the bigger number. So the greater than symbol is the symbol where the alligator is always wanting to eat the bigger number. Now let's compare the numbers 34,586 and the numbers 3,458. Again, let's pull out our journal and practice those. You write the numbers down as I write them down and follow my strategies and directions. Okay, so now we're going to compare the next set of numbers. So we're going to write them vertically on our paper. I do that every time. 34,586. And then underneath that, so that my commas line up, 3,458. Well, this is an easy one to compare when we line up with our using our place value positions because we've got an extra digit here in the ten thousands place and here our numbers only go to the thousands. Any number that goes to the ten thousands is always going to be greater than a number that goes to the thousands place so we know this is the greater number so let's write our number sentence. 34,586 is greater than 3,458. Holy Toledo Batman, that is messy. I hope you're doing a much neater job of writing in your journal. Let's do some practice now. Compare these two numbers in your journal. Put a number one and write those two numbers down. The number 9,445,000 and then we're going to compare that to the number 10 million. We'll put the symbol greater than, less than, or equal to in between those two numbers. Okay, let's pull out our journals and show how we did that. Then we can write our fill our symbol in. Okay, let's write those numbers in our journals. Nine million four hundred forty five thousand. Yikes. <laughs> and then underneath it, lining up our millions, commas, ten million. Lining up our thousands, commas. That makes sure our place value positions are aligned correctly. You can see again, we have an extra digit in the ten millions place, and we only have nine million here. So this is definitely the bigger number. Now, when we write this, this is the number that is written on the right. So we have to, I mean, on the left of our problems, we have to write it first. 9,445,000 is less than 10 million. Okay. Now remember, the alligator always eats the bigger number. But if I'm reading this math sentence, I always read a book from left to right, and I read a math sentence from left to right, too. 9,445,000 is less than 10 million. So you always read it from left to right. Left to right. From less to right. There you go. Okay. Number three, compare these two numbers. 24,000 and 2,400. Again, pause, practice writing them in your journals, 
and we'll get back to you. Okay, so here's the answer for our number three problem. We first write 24,000 and underneath it we write 2,400, making sure we line up our thousands commas. And we can tell immediately we have more digits in this number, don't we? But we have a number in the 10 thousands place. So this is 24,000 and this is only 2,400. So this is our greater number. Oops, I made a mistake. Hope I don't have to do a push-up for that tomorrow. Okay, oops, let's do that. It is greater than 2,400. There we go. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to order three or more numbers as well. If you are comparing these three numbers, and we separate those three numbers with semicolons so you don't get the commas that separate numbers mixed up with the commas that are actually separating the periods of the numbers. So let's read that first number. 546,000. 276. The next number is 546,371. That last number is 537,339. Order these numbers from greatest to least. This is really important. If it tells you to order it from greatest to least, you need to underline that term. And then after you're finished ordering them, go back and check. Did I order them from greatest to least? If I saw one area that fifth graders make more mistakes when it comes to ordering, it would be that they know how to order numbers. They know how to start with the biggest number and end with the smallest number. But sometimes we change the directions. We might say least to greatest. And sometimes we get in the habit of writing them one way or the other and we don't pay attention to the directions. So always go back and check. We're going to show you how to do this in your journal. So go ahead and write those three numbers down from write the 546,276 on the top, right below it, write 546,371, and then at the bottom, write 537,339. Okay, so let's go over our hints for comparing these three numbers. First of all, we need to write the numbers vertically, up and down, lining them up by place value positions. We need to compare the top two numbers first, starting at the largest place value position and then continue comparing each digit until the digits are different. Find the greatest number and that determines which number is going to have the greatest place value. And then compare the remaining numbers. We talked about using that strategy of putting a G next to the greatest number, an L next to the least number, and an M next to the middle number so that when we write them out in order from greatest to least, they would um, be a little bit easier to follow. Write the numbers from greatest to least. Now we're ordering numbers. So we're going to be comparing three numbers and then writing them in order from greatest to least. And I always like to write a G for greatest and an arrow to L for least so that I can remember that I'm supposed to be writing these from greatest to least. So I'm going to write my numbers vertically again. It's the easiest way to compare lining them up by their place value positions. And here's my third number. Now, I'm going to compare the top two numbers first, starting at this position. And as I compare, they're the same, the same, the same. Ah, this one is bigger than the top number. So I'm going to put a G by this. That's the greatest number so far. Let's go ahead and write it on the top down here. That's my greatest one so far. Now we're going to compare this number to our greatest number. Those are the same. Our greatest number is still going to be bigger because the 4 is greater than the 3. So we know this number is going to stay on top as our greatest number. Now we're going to compare this top number and this bottom number. So as I compare them, these digits are the same. This digit is different. The 4 is greater than the 3. So this number 
is our second greatest number. Let's come and write that down below. We probably could have figured that out just by looking because 546,000 and 546,000 are the same number, but the 537 is much smaller. It is our smallest number or our least number. Our lowest number would be a better way to say that. Now we're going to do some practice ordering. So let's go ahead and order this number from greatest to least. Go ahead and pause. Write these numbers down in your journal. Use the strategies. And then turn it back on to see if you wrote them in the same order that I did. Okay, let's start our first practice um, ordering problems. Um, we're going to order this from least to greatest, so I'm going to make sure I write least to greatest at the top of my problem so that I remember to go back and check to make sure I did that. We'll write 65,081,127. Then we'll write our next number, 7 million. Look how carefully I'm lining up my numbers and my commas by their place value positions going to make it so easy to compare. Now I'll write my third number again, lining up those commas. So as we compare these, it's very easy to look at these numbers in the greatest place value positions and see that this number has a number in the 10 millions place whereas these two numbers just have numbers in the one millions place, or that's as far as it goes. So we know this is our greatest number. I'm going to put a G next to it. Then we're just going to compare these two, 7 and 9. When we compare the number in the millions place, this one is greater. That means that's our least or our lowest number. And this is the number that goes in the middle. So if I'm numbering from least to great, I have to write my lowest number first, 7,128,000. Put my semicolon to separate them. If I put a comma, it would just look like one big, huge number. But a semicolon will separate those numbers out. My middle number is 9,910,001. And my greatest number is 65,081,127. Check to make sure that's how yours are actually written. Here's your first challenge problem. If a number is greater than 800 billion, but less than 801 billion, what digit will be in the billions place? Explain your answer. Here's the second challenge problem. Fill in the blank with the correct number. In our number system, each position to the left is blank times the position to its right. You're going to insert a number there. So let's read that again. In our number system, each position to the left is blank times the position to its right. Remember to write these answers in your journal and bring them back to share with me tomorrow. Finishing up, make sure you review your learning goals. If you need to go over any lessons, parts of the lesson, or redo any of the practice, do that now. And then in your journal, go ahead and write down your question, the one thing that you did not understand or needed extra help on. Go ahead and celebrate. You've completed Lesson 1-2, Comparing and Ordering Numbers. See you tomorrow.